What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we got Greg Olson through the years representing the U, the Bears, and those Carolina Panthers. Now, we kick things off in NCAA 05. My man Greg Olson comes in at 82 overall as a redshirt freshman, 76 speed, 76 agility, 78 acceleration, 76 catch. Also comes in with a 76 jump and a 68 break tackle rating as well. Now, he caught 16 passes this season for 275 yards, averaging 17 Point two yards per catch, and he got one TD pass as well. Now, his best game was versus Louisville. They won that game. He had three receptions for 89 yards, averaging 29.7 yards per catch, and one TD. Moving on to interplay 06, my man Greg Olson comes in at 93 overall, straight beasted. 84 speed, 76 agility, 84 acceleration, 84 catch, 82 jumping, and a 68 break tackling. Of course, he was the impact player for the U on offense. Now, his best game came versus Florida State. They lost that game, but he caught eight passes for 137 yards. In total, my man had 31 receptions for 451 yards for the season and four TDs. Moving on to NCAA 07 on the Xbox 360. He is 93 overall with 84 speed, 85 acceleration, 82 agility, 68 break tackle, 85 catch, and an 82 jumping rating as well. Now, when we look at his numbers in real life, he caught 40 passes for 489 yards, averaging 12.2 yards per catch and one TD. Best game was versus UNC. They won that game, and he caught eight passes for 95 yards, averaging 11.9 yards per catch. Now, when we add up all the overalls from all the NCAAs and we divide it by that same number, we get a grand total of 91.6 overall for his career as a video game character. He finished his career at the U with 87 receptions for 1,215 yards, four averaging 14 yards per catch and six TDs. Now, the Bears drafted Greg Olson in the first round, pick number 31, and for his rookie season with the Chicago Bears in Madden 08, he's 79 overall, 86 speed, 86 acceleration, 83 catch, 77 route running, 78 catch in traffic, and a 74 spectacular catch rating as well. His rookie numbers aren't too bad, man. He caught 39 passes for 391 yards, averaging 27.9 yards per game. Also had two TDs. His best game came versus Detroit. They lost that game 17-16, but Greg Olson has six receptions for 59 yards plus a touchdown. Madden 2009, Big Greg comes in at 85 overall, 87 speed, 86 acceleration, 85 catch, 87 route running, 83 catch in traffic, and an 87 spectacular catch rating as well. Well, when we look at his second year numbers, they got better. 54 receptions for 574 yards, averaging 35.9 yards per game and 5 TDs. Best game was versus Minnesota. They won that game 48-41, and Greg Olson has 6 catches for 74 yards plus a TD. Man in 2010, he's 82 overall, 85 speed, 87 acceleration, 85 catch, 88 route running, 83 catch in traffic, and an 87 spectacular catch rating as well. When we look at his real life numbers, he caught 60 passes this season for 612 yards, averaging 38.3 yards per catch and 8 TDs. He also had a huge game versus Arizona. They lost that game 21 to 41, but he had 5 catches for 71 yards and 3 TDs. So all 3 TDs for that game from the Bears were because of Greg Olson. He's a bad man. Madden 11, 84 overall, 87 speed, 88 acceleration, 86 catch, 88 route running, 84 catch in traffic, 88 spectacular catch for Big Greg as well. Now for his last year in Chicago, it was a little bit of a down year, man. He caught 41 passes that season for 404 yards, averaging 25.3 yards per catch, I mean per game, excuse me. But he did end up with five TDs as well. His best game was in a win versus Green Bay, 20 to 17. He caught five passes, 64 yards plus a touchdown. Madden 12. He's 86 overall, 87 speed, 88 acceleration, 86 catch, 87 route running, 83 catch in traffic, and an 89 spectacular catch rating as well. Now his first year with Cam in the Carolina Panthers, he caught 45 passes. For 540 yards, averaging 33.8 yards per game, five TDs. His best game was a four-catch, 73-yard effort 
versus the Minnesota Vikings. They lost that game 21 to 24, but my Greg, my man Greg Olson also got a touchdown in that game. So it couldn't have been his fault, right? Anyways, Madden 13, he's 84 overall, 87 speed, 86 acceleration, 87 catch, 87 route runner, 85 catch in traffic, and an 89 spectacular catch rating for my man Greg Olson. Now he caught 69 passes. For 843 yards, averaging 52.7 yards per game, and he also had five TDs. He had a monster game versus Denver, but they lost that game 14 to 36. But Greg Olson caught nine passes for 102 yards, averaging 11.3 yards per catch, and two TDs. So all the points that the Panthers scored that day was thanks to Big Greg Olson, and Cam has something to do with it too, I'm sure. Anyways, man, Madden 25. My man Greg also comes in at 88 overall, 87 speed, 86 acceleration, 88 catch, 84 route run, 88 catch in traffic, and a 90 spectacular catch rating as well. Now when we look at his real life numbers, he caught a grand total of 73 passes for 816 yards, averaging 51 yards per game. He also had 6 TDs that year. Had a monster game versus Buffalo, but they lost that game 23-24. But he caught 7 passes for 84 yards, averaging 12 yards per catch and 1 TD. Madden 15, he's 88 overall yet again with 86 speed, 87 acceleration, 85 catch, 76 route running. Also comes in with an 84 catch in traffic and an 86 for his spectacular catch rating as well. Now let's check out his real life numbers. My man made it to the Pro Bowl. Caught 84 passes for 1,008 yards, averaging 63 yards per game. He also caught six TD passes. Best game was versus New Orleans. They won that game 41 to 10. My man had 10 catches for 72 yards plus a touchdown. Man is 16. Greg Olson comes in at 92 overall, 83 speed, 85 acceleration, 89 catch, 81 route running, 87 catch in traffic, and an 88 spectacular catch rating as well. Once again, he made it to the Pro Bowl. Caught 77 passes for 1,104 yards, 69 yards per game. He also got seven TDs, and he also had a huge game versus New Orleans. Yet again, back-to-back -back years, he took it to the Saints, man. He had a grand total of eight catches for 134 yards, two TDs, and a 27-22 win over those Aints. Madden 17. 93 overall for Big Greg, well deserved. 85 speed, 86 acceleration, 96 catch, 92 route runner, 93 catch in traffic, and a 90 spectacular catch rating as well. He made it to the Pro Bowl again, three straight years of going to the Pro Bowl. He caught 80 passes for 1,073 yards, averaging 67 yards per uh, game, and he also had three TDs. His best game was in a loss to Tampa Bay, but he got a grand total of nine receptions for 181 yards. That's averaging 20.1 yards per catch. They lost that game 14 to 17. Now let's move on to Madden 18, and I feel like they never got Greg Olson's face right in none of the games. But anyways, 82, 92, excuse me, overall. 85 speed, 87 acceleration, 87 catch, 94 route running, 93 catch in traffic, and a 92 spectacular catch rating as well. Now, of course, Greg Olson was hurt a lot this season, but he does have 13 receptions for 154 yards, averaging 30.8 yards per catch, and I mean per game, excuse me, and he also has one TD. Now, last week he had a monster game, baby. That's the best game so far this season for him. He caught nine passes for 116 yards, averaging 12.8 yards per catch, one TD, and of course, and of course, they won the game, 31 to 24 after the, over those Green Bay Packers. So far in his Madden career, he's 86.6 overall, and he has a grand total of 63, 635 receptions for 7,519 yards and 53 TDs. Until next time, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day, and I'm out. Peace. Hustle.